everyone and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello i'm nocturne and i do k-pop k-drama as well as pick a card readings here on youtube so today's video is the third yay oh my gosh i can't believe it's the third already but it's the third of my monthly q a patreon video which i've started on my channel so if you guys are part of my patreon um you get to ask me questions there and i will choose some each month to answer here so this has been so much fun Fun and uh, it's something that I look forward to doing every month. Um, as this video is compiling various questions on different people, I'm going to try and be as short and succinct as I can, which <laughs> we know almost never happens because I tend to ramble and I just go on and on and on and on. But I will aim for around maybe five to eight questions. Um, if the video is not too long and I don't feel too overwhelmed energetically, I will make sure to add more. So as usual, guys, I just want to make a quick disclaimer that I'm not going to be divulging too much into each person's personal life out of respect for them and for whomever I do a reading about in the future. If you guys are interested in any of the cards I use, would like to join me on Patreon, would like to find my social media handles, you can find all of these in the description box below. I will also link my Patreon somewhere on the screen here in case you guys are interested in joining or would just like to support me. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It would truly mean a lot to me. And yeah, super excited. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the reading. Okay, guys, so we're starting off the reading with Lucas Wong's current energy. We have three cards that have already jumped out. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna grab a few more cards. So Lucas Wong current energy. Lucas Wong current energy. Oh, interesting. Okay, wow, we have a lot of cards here and it's actually very, um, very clear. There's a new beginning, you guys. There's a new beginning coming in his life. Okay, I'm gonna start with the tarot cards. Just, I wonder if you guys can see everything. Okay, let me just. Okay, so in terms of uh, Lucas Wong's current energy, we did have the Six of Wands in reverse that jumped out. Just gives me the 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 feeling that he does not feel like himself, like he's fallen off the horse. That's that's the word, that's the analogy that I'm trying to look for. So there was a feeling of like falling off the horse, but uh, if you guys are Lucas Wong fans, I will tell you right now, there's a lot of hope here. I see there's a lot of people that want to help him actually. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Star. There was this feeling of hopelessness and now he's starting to really hope again. And actually there is a wish fulfillment that is happening there is a, that is unfolding for him right now so there's people that want to help him there's people that want to see him succeed so in terms of energy he's feeling very hopeful now we have a lot of oracle cards that have jumped out here um i will tell you that he does have enemies um i can see that with the enemy here so okay sorry i am there's just so much information and as you guys know with these readings i try to be short and succinct but it's just not allowing me so i am just trying to gather my thoughts um there is a feeling with the house that he's been homebound for a while he's been in a place where he feels like he's safe he's been working on himself there is a feeling of solitude as you guys can see here with the nine of coins the star with the house it just feels very much like hermit-like energy but with a child i can see that there's a new beginning starting there's a reunion that's about to happen with him and people that he's missed we have someone that has been trying to help him in fact there's numerous people that have been trying to help him as i mentioned to you guys before there's like a wish fulfillment um, and that's more in terms of career, business, and financial um, stability. There's people that have been trying to help him make sure that he can cultivate um, financial stability again. But I also see that there is a young woman that has been helping him kind of un unmask <laughs> unmask uh, an enemy that's been hiding um behind a tree so I, I i know this is meant to be like a short reading so if you guys are interested i can do a longer reading because there's a lot of information but i will tell you guys that there he had an enemy in his midst like not just some kind of person in the background spreading rumors about him, but there was also someone that maybe he thought was a friend or someone that he thought was an acquaintance that was like two-faced. And there is a young woman that has helped him uncover 
this. And with the priest, um, you know, when I when the priest comes out, it doesn't necessarily mean priest literally. It can also mean an institution, someone that you look up to. So it could be his agency too. So the agency and a young woman have been working together to unmask his enemy. So if you guys are worried about like maybe you feel like he's been completely forgotten about by his agency, I feel like there are people in his agency that are still looking out for him that are still, um, ha that still have his back. Uh, but yeah, so he's energetically, I feel like things are really looking up for him. He feels like he's hopeful again, and there are a lot of people that um, want to help him. So yeah, guys. Okay, wow. Hmm. Sorry. Let me just move this here. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next question. Jido friendship. GOT sevens Jin Young, Blackpink, Jisoo, and NCT Do Young. They were MCs for a music show from 2017. To, sorry, I'm just reading the question, guys. Uh, from 2017, 2018. Just wanted to know if they have a friendship or keep in touch. Okay, well, let's have a look. So, GOT sevens Jin Young, Blackpink's Jisoo. And NCT's Do Young. Do Young. I'm so sorry, you guys. I hope I'm saying his name right. Let's see if they have a friendship or keep in touch. Do they have a friendship or keep in touch? Yeah. Oh, one second. There's a few cards that have jumped out. Okay, so they really get along. Um, I see that with the Ten of Cups, it feels almost like a family kind of a, a relationship where, you know, sometimes with family, siblings and things like that, you're not necessarily always in touch but you guys get along and when you meet each other you kind of like go back to how you used to be you know what i mean whether that's with friends or family members but i do see that they do get along they understand each other there's a certain level of understanding that they share together with a high priestess and the judgment because they went through um a phase together an important part of their lives together uh but i don't necessarily see them like in touch all the time Anything else, guys? In regards to Jinjiro friendship. Yeah. Like, they they get along. They like each other. You know, with the Ten of Cups, I see there's, like, compatibility there. They can have fun, laugh. But with the Chariot in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, I feel like they're not necessarily as close as they used to be anymore. They're all doing their own thing is what I'm seeing. Uh, but when they do get together, they get along. <laughs> I hope that helps. Let's go to the next question. Nam Ju Hyuk and Suzy Bay friendship. They both start and start up with Kim Son Ho as second lead. Okay. Nam Ju Hyuk and Suzy Bay friendship. Nam Ju Hyuk and Suzy Bay friendship. Okay, not this deck. Nam Ju Hyuk and Suzy Bay friendship. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Um. Well, I have to be, you know, I have to deliver messages as I get them. We have the Eight of Swords, um, the Ten of Wands in reverse, <clears throat> the Three of Cups in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse, the Chariot. Um, I don't necessarily see them that close. They work together well. They make it happen with a chariot. I see that they're both very professional people and working together works because they just feed off of each other and they're both very professional and hardworking. In terms of friendship though, I see that with the Three of Cups. 
in reverse they try to get along but there are certain things that just don't match between them so guys can you tell us more about this um there's just almost like you know sometimes with friendships a relationship there needs to be that spark chemistry compatible so sorry the video got cut off but as i was saying i just want to look more into it oh wow okay Oof. okay guys um wow okay so before they stopped oh sorry i don't know how, um okay let me just say it like this they used to be um they used to have a better connection with the three of cups uh upright i see that they used to be just like very communicative um they used to get along better but it's just something happened something happened between them sorry let me just have a quick look obviously i don't want to um cross any boundaries um just whatever whatever can be shared yeah yeah i see they used to get along they they used to get along um mm, mm. Okay, so definitely, okay, here's uh, just, just the short, um, just to kind of like keep it short. They used to get along, they were friends. Um, at least it felt like jovial and positive, like they were, they got along, they were friends, you know. Um, I do see that there was a situation that, ar uh, that rose um, with a page of swords and we have the knight of swords in reverse, the king of wands in reverse. I feel like there were people that said things, maybe um, common friends shared information that maybe one person told the other friend and something like that. But I, I see there's almost like talk, a lot of talk that hurt each other's feelings is what I'm sensing. So um, in short, you guys, there isn't really um, any friendship friendship. There's just kind of like, oh, okay, I acknowledge you. Yeah, we're fine. It's not like they hate each other, but I wouldn't necessarily say they're close friends. So I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, but yeah, okay. So next question, Ji Chang Wook, current energy. He's an actor in the same league as Lee Min Ho. Um, okay. Ji Chang Wook. Ji Chang Wook. Oh. He's feeling great, feeling really inspired. Oh my gosh. The energy feels amazing, you guys. Um, he's a very charming, charming, charming person. Okay. Um Ji Chang Ji Chang Wook. Sorry guys, I hope I'm saying his name right. He's a very charming person. There is something about him that is very boyish, okay, with a page of cups. Um, so it's almost like when people talk to him, they're like, ah, like there's just something about him that makes people blush and makes them think, oh my God, you're so boyish. Like even though, let's say maybe he's older than them, there's something about him that, that is like so naive or like so pure that makes people like, blush or have a crush on him is what I'm seeing. He's very playful with the people that are close and near and dear to him. Um, I see that he is in a very exciting time with the sun and the three of wands here. He is expanding his career. So his um, career is currently experiencing an expansion. He is going to do more projects that are um, different that feel very different to what he's done before and with the sun he's heading in the right direction he has goals and he's definitely doing what needs to be done in order to reach those goals but yeah he's having a really really good time you guys yeah he's in a really really good place so let's see anything else guys let's grab some oracle current energy anything else in regards to ji chang Wook? Wow, we have a lot of threes. I feel like the number three is going to be very significant. Oh, okay, wow. So I just said we have a lot of threes. Number three is going to be very significant. And then we have 33. So really, you guys, three is going to be really significant. So I feel like he's going to be doing a period drama or something like that. Um, something that doesn't feel modern. And... Uh, I really sense that. So I feel like he's going to be doing a period movie or a period drama or something that is not 
like modern age something like that something that maybe has war something that has chaos something that has conflict um yeah definitely something that is more traditional where maybe he's got fighting scenes um that maybe he's like uh there's romance in it too long lost lovers a message in a bottle trying to reach their lover something like that it feels like an epic um kind of drama you know uh but yeah and it feels like this is something that is really going to I don't know, people are really, really going to react positively to it. But yeah, so he's in a really, really good place, you guys. This is something that's really exciting. Um, he's going to be able to show off more of his um, acting chops, is what I'm seeing. Okay, so next question. Okay, Big Bang, G-Dragon, and Jenny friendship. Okay, wow. So let's see, Big Bang... G Dragon and Jenny Friendship. Oh, sorry guys, there's a few cards that jumped out. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Um okay. Uh I mean, they used to be close. I see that there used to be uh, definitely a friendship there. But there isn't really that much communication now. Sorry, one more one more card, guys. Yeah, we have a few cards jump out here. Yeah. One more. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, let me just move these. Oh, there's a lot of information. So... Okay, Big Bang, G-Dragon, and Jenny Friendship. I can definitely, definitely see that they used to be close. There's two Four of Pentacles here. It was a cherished friendship, definitely. Um, something that uh, they were protective of. Uh, one of them was more protective of this friendship than the other. Uh, it feels very... I don't know, just like looking out for someone, protective of someone, like that's the kind of feeling I'm getting from this friendship. Um, so yeah, definitely they had a friendship um, that felt quite close. Um, you could rely on each other. Um, sorry, wow. <sighs> there was a lot of pushback, okay? We have the Five of Wands. We have the Five of Cups, there we have the Seven of Wands, there's a lot of disappointment here, there's a lot of like trying to fight for something, um, sorry guys if I'm being very really vague, I'm not trying to be vague, I'm just trying to articulate what I'm seeing, but there's fighting for something, trying to get something, uh, trying to like fight for what you think you want. Um, and then being disappointed in the end because other people don't agree with you. They also don't really agree with each other. They don't really see eye to eye. To be honest, I don't see any clear path of communication right now. Sometimes they think about one another with a King of Swords. There's a lot of thought that is involved with each other. Maybe one, the one person thinks about the other person more. Because with a King of Swords here, I can see that the King of Swords is constantly thinking about the Queen of Swords, but the Queen of Swords is just not on the same wavelength. So I do feel like this is a friendship that is no longer like alive, really. Like they're not really talking anymore, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. Like I feel like with a four of pent with two Four of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this is something that was cherished. This is something that was prized. This was something that was really protected, you know? Um, but now it's not there anymore. So whatever it is that they were growing, this 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 friendship that they were growing, it doesn't hold root anymore. It's no longer there. Um, even though the King of Swords wants to communicate, the Queen of Swords is not really that interested anymore, especially with the judgment in reverse. It's, it's, it's not um, going to get resusc resuscitated anytime soon. It's kind of like long and gone kind of thing. With the Temperance in reverse, I don't feel like they see eye to eye. There isn't really that much harmony within them. And it's not just between the two of them. I see that people surrounding them also don't really support 
this friendship like it something about this friendship feels a little bit mishmashed like with a hierophant upright too it almost feels like someone had to step in and talk to them someone maybe older someone they respect someone higher up had to like actually have a conversation with them and say like you guys i don't think you should be friends like there's just so much push and pull like there's just so much negativity surrounding it so maybe they'll be friends again in the future i just see that for right now they're it's not really there um it's almost like it really is like with the ace of pentacles here with this imagery that you see it's like this friendship that they cultivated and they tried to grow it was literally like pulled up from the root you know oops sorry guys um yeah like everything that was pulled up included the root so it just means that it's more like obviously it's difficult for something to regrow if we're talking about plants if the root's been picked you know so anyways yeah Oh, okay guys, so I might just do one final um, one final question just because that one was a little bit heavy. Okay, so let's see. Do you need to have psychic powers in order to read tarot for others? Um, I think it's great that you're curious. I think curiosity is like the most important thing um, in learning, like just cu being curious and having fun, like it all starts with curiosity. So I think it's really the foundation for everything. And it's like the most important thing to like fuel your passion um, in any subject. So yeah, of course it helps. And it can be a bonus if you have a certain talent or, you know, if you have a certain ability uh, that is innate and you were like born with it. But at the end of the day, it really comes down to um, who is wanting to learn more. And um, that's the same across all subjects. So yeah, as long as you're curious, as long as you're having fun and you want to learn something, just go for it, learn it. It's like you shouldn't be held back by thoughts that like, oh, maybe I'm not talented at this. I'm not talented at that. Like, no way. Just go for it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to stop the reading right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did and you'd like to join in the next Patreon Q&A, um, you can find the link in the description box below. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. I hope you're being kind to yourselves. And I really hope I, 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 and I really hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.